Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I wasn't gonna film, but my makeup looks really good, and I was inspired by my shirt, which is why my eyes are blue. I also have been saying recently, like I'm craving a blue moment, and it was just, it was the moment. Today was the day. I'm just, I'm having a bad day, to be honest. I'll tell you guys a little bit about it, but I figured let's make the day better by talking about five beauty tips I think you need to know in order to make yourself just feel better. If you're new here, my name is Fortune. I am a certified professional makeup artist, but I really just love creating beauty content. Be sure to check out some more of my videos. If you like me, hit the subscribe button and yeah, comment down below anything you guys want to see, any products you're interested in. I look super freaking tan, but I am so pale. I think I put a lot of bronzer on today and like these eyes guys I don't know what's going on but I'm really back into eyeliner I took a break from the eyeliner and I'm just I'm loving it let's get into it because I don't have a lot of time Mike and I are actually going to dinner with my aunt and we're surprising my grandma so we need to leave soon I teased you guys in my last video about getting a younger looking mouth maybe it doesn't happen to everyone but I feel like for the majority of people like gravity just happens naturally our smile lines you know like right here the corners of our mouth they kind of like start to either droop or get longer as we start to age so what you kind of want to do is you want to round the shape of your lips out you're kind of going to cut off the edge of your mouth with concealer so what i like to do is i like to put concealer on the back of my hand i will take a flat brush and kind of just go over the edges of my mouth kind of think of it as like taking that concealer to erase the side of your mouth and you're always going to want to make sure that you powder that if you don't it will crease because it's the side of your mouth the more you're talking the more you're just like smiling it that any kind of liquid is going to move if you don't set it and then i kind of just go about my lips as i typically do i line them overline them i put lipstick on put another different lip liner color on a gloss i use a lot of lip products if you're a lip junkie check out my instagram because every monday i put up the lip combo of the week tip number two this was something that i was always embarrassed about. I don't know about you guys, but my toenails, like I would always have white spots in my toenails. It was just, it wasn't cute. And like, I didn't have fungus. I actually don't know what it was, but just like my toenails always looked janky. And so because they always looked janky, I couldn't not paint my toenails. And what I didn't realize was one of my um, old coworkers told me this, my toenails were this weird, discoloration because I always had polish on them. Don't wear any polish on your toes and I swear to God, like all of that discoloration will grow out. It's very weird, I don't know how to explain it, but the same thing with your fingernails. If your fingernails are like different colors and it's just like the nail, it just, you need to cover it up. Just don't put nail polish on your fingers, don't put clear over it, put absolutely nothing on your nails, okay? And just let them take the time to grow out. I know it's gonna be painful, um, the toes is easier because you can hide them in socks, but I understand like it's going to be painful for you personally to have to sit there and stare at your discolored fingers because I am like really particular about nails and nail polish. If there's a single chip, it needs to come off. Otherwise, I just don't end up painting my nails and I forgot to put my ring on. Damn it. I have some battle wounds today. I was making some apple cinnamon bake it was so so good but like i sliced my finger open with the knife i was filming it and i wasn't paying attention to what i was cutting and so i have a huge slice in my finger which i'm not going to get too close because i don't want to gross you out it like hurts more when i look at it honestly and then broken like attacked me and it was very upsetting i cried hysterically my cat has never hissed at me he scratched me once but it was because i scared him and like i think i scared him today too but i was wearing headphones listening to music kind of like zoning out and like cleaning his litter box and like i just i didn't see it coming and he hissed so loud and he scratched me i didn't bleed but like now i have like a cut on my hand i just i've had a bad day I got really sidetracked, but I just kind of wanted to bundle this into tip two. People have asked me specifically, Carolina I know has asked me on Instagram, I'm pretty sure. She asked me how I keep my nails nice without any polish. They're not that great today. But like I said, if you have discoloration on your nails, let them grow out. It's gonna take a little while, girl. It's gonna take like a month and a half to two months. I would say, I didn't really time it, but like all winter, ever since I discovered this, and I should have told you guys earlier, I'm really sorry, I'll remind you next year. But 
but ever since I discovered this, come the colder months, I don't paint my toenails at all because of the toenail situation. I was talking about how it looked a little discolored in the spring and summer when I do paint my toes. If I wanna go a week without any toe polish on, they look perfectly fine. So again, if you have discoloration, don't paint, don't put anything on them, let your nails breathe. Also guys, I cannot recommend a cuticle oil enough. Cuticle oil, cuticle serum, I'll put two that I love down below. One is from Sally Hansen. The other one is from Olive and June, which for those of you who are going to paint your nails, Olive and June make amazing nail polish kits. Mike bought me one for Christmas. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And like the nail polish legit stays on for two weeks. The colors that he picked for me are beautiful. Like it's just, it's so good. If you want to see a dedicated video on Olive and June nail polish or the nail kit, let me know. I will do that. But that's really great for those of you who want to paint your nails. And yeah, like hand cream, guys, I got to say, not only is your nail situation, what your nails look like important, but your cuticles, your hands, skin like this just this whole thing is important so if you're someone that really needs help like SOS 911 the hands need help let's not paint them for a little while okay let's cut them get rid of as much of that discoloration as you can off the tips round them shape them I would push your cuticles back at night before I go to bed and then I'll put hand cream on and then I'll put the nail serum and voila sometimes we can look like we're wearing more makeup than we want to admit and just the section of your face that is going to scream to the world, I'm wearing makeup, is your forehead. This is what I do with all kinds of makeup, whether it's an eyeshadow, a concealer, a foundation, a bronzer, just anywhere where you need more coverage or more of that color, that's where you go in with the product first because then you can blend and as we blend, you know, it gives like an ombre effect. It's kind of like dark where you start it. And then as you get further away from where you put the product, it starts to lighten up, if that makes sense. So I put my foundation in the center of my face, blend it out because this is where most people have the most discoloration. And then with whatever is left on my sponge or my brush, I go ahead and I apply my forehead makeup. I guarantee you, your forehead is gonna look like you're wearing no product at all. Just be really light-handed on your forehead. That is my tip to you. If you wanna look like you're wearing less makeup, put less makeup on your forehead. A big mascara no-no. Like I know we know the cute little like spoolie situation when you get a little bit of mascara on your lid, it works. But sometimes we get really, really bad mascara on our face, like this one that I'm gonna show you, and you need a little bit more. So same concept, you start off with a spoolie and you just kind of scrape the mascara off, but you need to make sure the mascara is dry. So give that mistake a good like five minutes, move on. Do your lips, do another part of your makeup routine, go put deodorant on, go get dressed, like give it a minute. And then once that mascara is dry, what you wanna do is take that spoolie and go ahead and kind of just scratch the dry product off. And then put concealer on the back of your hand. Take a finger, dip it into the concealer on the back of your hand, put it underneath your eye, and then blend it out with another or a different clean finger whether you've powdered or not. Well, if you haven't powdered, you could just go right back in with concealer. It's not a big deal. But if you did powder, you wanna go in with the littlest, ittiest bit of concealer because a liquid over a powder is never good. That's where we get texture. My last and final tip is this hair wrap, guys. It is unbelievable. I asked my brother for this for Christmas. I think it was 15 or $25 off of Amazon. This is the hair that I have today from this freaking hair wrap. I shower, I wash my hair, and then I leave it in my aquarium hair wrap to let it dry as much as possible and then when my hair is like 70% dry I then go ahead kind of like loop my hair like French twist my hair on both sides around this device I go to sleep I sleep with it and it is so amazing as good as the air wrap the only difference is this doesn't really give a lot of volume up here not as much as the air wrap or a blow dryer would but it is just guys like this speaks for itself. If you don't have this, you need it. Air wraps are mad expensive. I do love my air wrap, but I gotta say, I love my hair more like this. My husband loves my hair more like this, and I get a lot more compliments from my hair with this $10 thing off of Amazon than I do with my Dyson Air Wrap. So that is it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, give it a big thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments. What are some of your beauty tips? I would love to hear it. Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell before you leave. I had a wonderful time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.